So, when I had a kid, I expected it to be the way that I wanted it to be when me and the dad were together and during the pregnancy I was treated very well and all of that stuff because, you know, why not? It didn't turn out like that. And so in the midst of that, I began to dictate the type of father that I felt like my son's father should be to him. Now, I myself fall in the category that a lot of other people fall in and that's having a child with somebody who already has children. It happens. I wasn't trying to get pregnant, but I wasn't trying to not get pregnant, if you know what I'm saying. But, uh, very thankful for my child. Don't, don't get it twisted. So, because I felt like he wasn't parenting in the way that I felt like he should parent, I made the decision to take my son away from him for a year and a half. So, it just also talked about how much power men actually don't have when it comes to being a parent um so because i was able to do that so for a year and a half i said in my ego and i felt like yeah you know you're not doing what i need you to do you're not being the type of father that i feel like you should be so you can't be around your kid i was bitter i was bitter about the way our relationship was the way our relationship ended the fact that I wanted him to be the type of father that I felt like he wasn't being. But once I got out of my ego, I realized that he wasn't being the type of father that I felt like I should have had. So I was inadvertently, I guess you could say, vicariously living through my son and feeling like his father should be the type of father that I didn't have, which is crazy. And it's also wrong because nobody is going to be like you want them to be. Because in your mind, it's always going to be perfect. And nobody's perfect. So for a year and a half, my son suffered not being around his father. I blocked him. I blocked him. And so because he had a fear of what would happen, because we had a whole conversation about this, because he had a fear of what would happen if he pushed to be in his child's life he kind of just sat back he was calling but i didn't know he was blocked show me all of this of course he was calling texting trying to get in touch wanting to see his child and i was just like no because you ain't you ain't being the right type of father so in the midst of all of this my son is at school he's seeing people with their fathers and stuff like that and so he gets to the mind frame of like, well, my daddy not around. So I'm telling him, like, you know, all things didn't work out, but your father loves you and all this stuff. And he basically was like, I don't give a fuck about that. I want my father. So I was still in my ego when I'm just like, nope, because, you know, you ain't going to be the first person who got who was raised without their father and you won't be the last. Just still in my ego, still upset about the fact that I felt like he should be the type of father that my father was to me. Our relationship didn't work out. I was bitter. I was a bitter baby mama. The same type of baby mama or the same type of child's mother that I always looked looked down on when it came to other people who did this to their uh, children's father. So, more time progressed. And one day my son came to me and he said, you know, I wish my dad was around because I want my dad around, you know. It's going to be as good as it gets. And he started to cry, y'all. And in that moment... I had to get out of my ego and the next morning I got up and I contacted his father and when I talked to his father he was very upset with me and all of that stuff but the biggest thing was he wanted to be in his child's life he always wanted to be in his child's life he had other children so I, I expected him to drop everything and be at the back and call of this child he's like I can't do that because I got other kids but when you're living in that selfish part of you, when you're living in that ego part of you, you tend to not care or not think about things like that. So he came back into his child's life with a lot, which a lot of fathers might not have done. And some fathers be like, fuck you and that kid. I'm not fucking with that kid because of you. It happens all the time. And I actually get that part because nobody deserves to have to be stressed out by the mother of their child simply because the relationship didn't work. I say all that to say, let that kid see their father. 
Get out your ego. Stop being bitter. No, the relationship didn't work. No, you didn't know that this was how it was going to end up. No, you didn't think that it was going to be this way. Yes, you're upset about how things happen. And the reason why I'm really focusing this towards women is because it seems like it's more women that do this than men. I'm sure it is men that do it. But the prevalency, in my opinion, is with women. It's very prevalent amongst women. I don't even know prevalency is a word, but I just made it up on a prevalence. So understand that when it comes to your kids, you can't you can't have no ego when it comes to the father of your child. It's not a whole like, oh, that's who I picked, so I gotta deal with it. It's it's not even it's not even so much that. It's more like it's not about you, it's about the kid. If you feel like that man is not gonna be a good father to your child or whatever. That's still who you picked. If he wants to be in your child's life and you feel like he's not going to bring no harm to your child, let him see the child. Let him see the child. It is his right to be able to be in his child's life. Okay, he, he, might, he might not come around all the time, but let your child make the decision because children are very, very smart. They're very, very smart. So with me, my whole thing was I'm no longer going to live in my ego. I'm going to allow i'm not even allow i'm going to yeah i'm gonna allow myself to stop being that awful miserable bitter ass person that i was because he's not the type of father that i felt like i should have had so him and his father now wonderful relationship came back together like never missed the beat it was something that he longed for and i took that away from him for a year and a half for a year and a half, I took that away from him. And so I look at their relationship now and I'm like, I robbed him of that time being in my ego. I robbed his father of that time being in my ego. And when you do that and you do end up talking back to the father, apologize. Apologize. Because they deserve that. They deserve to hear that. They deserve for you to acknowledge that you was wrong. Just like women want men to acknowledge when they wrong, acknowledge that you was wrong. That's something that a lot of women don't know how to do. And they step outside your ego and apologize. We don't like to apologize to our kids. We don't like to apologize to our men. If you're doing something wrong, apologize. You'll be surprised how far an apology goes. But more than apologize, let your actions speak for what you're actually apologizing for. So, for instance, when he get back around his father... It was something happened and he like scanned his knee or something like that. And his dad was like, you know, I'm just kind of let you know, like, this is what happened before you come and pick him up because, you know, I don't want you to take him away from me. And it was just like, this is a trauma that I caused by taking him away from his father. That his father is, is always going to kind of be or ha was on edge about me taking him away. And that sucks because that's not the type of person that I wanted to be. But I allow my ego to supersede my parenting and you cannot do that you have to do what's best for the child okay he 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 might not be a, a good boyfriend but he might be a bomb ass dad he might be a bomb ass father but you're taking that away from your kid because you're like i don't like the fact that you did do this i don't like the fact that you do that and that goes on with that whole like don't have no other women around my kid if you know that the father of your child has crazy women around him then i get that but if you just had a problem with the fact that y'all not together and so you don't want us you don't want your child to see him with somebody else that's crazy because that shouldn't even be nothing that you worried about you should be worried about how the person that's around them around uh, the father treats your child so if he has a girlfriend or if he has a wife and that wife treats your child like that's their child you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even be worried about that you you and your ego and get up out of that get up out of that because even though children can be raised with a missing parent no child wants to be raised without a parent. No child wants to have to go through life not knowing who their uh, parent is. No child does. You'll meet adults who are very much so grown and they still long for knowing that other side of them. And they have been robbed of that for whatever reason. Though maybe the father just didn't want to be a part of it. Maybe the father did and the mother pushed him away. But if you have the opportunity to mend a relationship with your child... And, and with your child's father, do it. Do it now rather than later. Don't sit around and be like, well, I'm going to unblock him and then I'm going to just wait for him to call. Because that call might not never come. Because everybody has a breaking point. Everybody got a point where they're just going to give up and be like, okay, well, fuck it. This is what it is. She took my kid away. And it's not just your kid. It's y'all kid. You do not have the right to...
take away something or someone that's not yours. That's not yours. This is not completely one parent's child. It's both of y'all child equally. Equally. If y'all had not come together, the child would not be here. There is no one role that is more important than the other when it comes to creating a life. It is just not. I know people are like, but when you're pregnant, you can do this, you can do this. Yeah. But when it comes to the act of creating a child, you need a sperm and you need an egg. They are both very necessary in the creation of life. Without one, there cannot be the other. So stop trying to put a hierarchy on it. It's not just your child. It's both your child. And men, if y'all doing this with the women, stop doing that shit. That shit is weird. I was that weird ass baby mama. And I didn't want to be nobody, baby mama. I wanted to be the mother of somebody's child. Now, now I'm the mother of somebody's child. But that whole living in your ego, not letting the kids see their father because you feel whatever type of way. I let a year and a half go by. That was too damn long. That was too damn long. Don't do that to your child. Don't do that to the father. Don't do that to yourself. If you feel like that father is not a good father, let your child figure that out. And not, I'm not saying put your child in no dangerous situation. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying children realize early on when they're not wanted. I know I did. And so I was able to make the own decision myself to be like, yeah, you know, I'm finna, I'm gonna fall back. I'm gonna fall back because I know that you don't really, you ain't really feeling this whole parenting thing. And it happens. But I would rather me make that decision as a child when it comes to my father then my mother have make it made that decision for me my mother didn't do that she let me make my own decision and so i got i still could talk to my father now we 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 could i could call him anytime but i was able to make the decision on whether or not i wanted him in my life if i feel like if my mother would have made that decision for me i would have had some animosity towards her so stop being bitter stop being bitter and let that man see his child. You're going you're gonna to be more grateful for it in the long run because your child is going to feel some type of way towards you. Either the fact that you took, your, you took their father away from them to give them a chance to know their father or you picked the father that wasn't a good father. And you never really know who's going to be a good father or a bad father until you have a kid with them because people will switch up on you. I'm sure there's plenty of men right now who sitting at home with their children had no clue that the mother of their child was going to be the type of mother to get their kid away. But they did. So you never really know. Having kids ain't no joke. It's a responsibility that everybody ain't built for. So that's it. Let me go ahead and edit this. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming to my TED Talk.